So there are two types of students right now who are currently preparing for JE mains as well as the entrance exam and their second type who is mainly preparing for VIT Ripple. So this video is all gonna be about VIT Ripple strategy. Those who don't know about me, I am Naval Singh and currently I am pursuing BTEC in VIT Valor and I secured the rank of 1800 in my VIT Ripple examination. So I am gonna be telling you the 5 key points that you should follow and that I have followed in my VIT Ripple preparation that get me into the VIT in category 1 in CSC branch. So let's start the video. First of all that I have only 2 months of time after J to prepare for VIEEE and I literally worked really hard for VIEEE preparation. It's not like you have to take it easy. It's not an easy exam. It's hard. Everyone is saying that it's easy but you have to really work hard because it's not like J Mint. It has different pattern than J Mint. So it's not about hardness, it's about how accurate you are and how you solve the question in the less amount of time. I think syllabus and all these stuff are, I have given in the last video of uh, strategy. This video is something else and you, I will tell you the strategy that I have followed in my JMS preparation and what I can suggest you to do. For the resources of VID Ripley, I have followed Adunity which is one of the greatest channel in YouTube for physics and uh, I have solved every PDF that they have provided and uh, every question that they have solved in their YouTube channel. So it's one of the great thing that I have done in my JE times which led me to get good marks in my physics in VRAEE because they have covered all the basic questions as well in the median question as well in their PDFs as well as in their YouTube channel and they explained really well so I literally followed that and second of all I read all the chapters from NCRT and NCRT explainer which cleared all my concepts from basic and uh, VRAEE is an exam where you have to read everything from each corner of NCRT and you should know the basic of everything, every chapter. You have to go through each chapters and each corner of NCRT, you should know everything in the NCRT. So I prefer mainly go through the NCRT explainer. After that you can solve the questions from PYQs of VIEEE, that is chapter wise PYQs and after that you can solve the mock test. And if these are not enough for you, then you can go through the JMS preparation. And the advantage for me is I prepared for JMS from Kota as well and I prepared basic level knowledge from every chapter. So it was somewhat easy for me to go through every chapter and to solve questions. I'm going to be telling you how I converted my maths marks from 0 to literally 100. I don't know anything about maths, so let's start. So for maths, I have done the lectures in the basic level, like I have done the NCRT first to the basic level where I should know the basic meaning of every chapter. Then I have gone to JMS questions because in the maths level, we actually ask mainly hard questions or medium questions. So you have to prepare it well. I have mainly solved every chapter medium level questions. After that, I have given 5 to 6 mock tests of VRAEE before giving the main exam because it is it is the main thing. You have to go through mock test. You have to give mock test. You have to analyze after every mock test where are you getting weak and you should know where are you getting weak and you should improve it after every mock test. You can't ignore this. This is the main part where everyone is getting their self-esteem low. So you have to really work here. This is the main thing because everyone everyone can prepare the chapters but everyone cannot give the mock test and know the analysis, how to do the analysis and know themselves. And the third thing is English and aptitude. It is one of the easiest part for VIEEE and mainly they will ask you English and aptitude from 11 and 12 class questions. 11 and 12th English so it's not a big deal. It's a free marks for you guys if you have but you have to prepared it well for 11 and 12 class. Aptitude is mainly simple questions of maths and other things. You should know the pattern of the edit replay exam because it's somewhat different. It's really different from J mains exam as uh, J mains exam really focus on the medium and hard level questions whereas in J mains you have to solve the medium and hard questions in the more amount of time. You can solve it in the more amount of time but here you have to be accurate and you have to get more marks in the less amount of time which is really tough because you can solve questions in the more amount of time but you cannot 
solve questions in less amount of time which makes it tougher but there is the easier side as well that english and aptitude is somewhat free marks for you guys if you can manage that it's one of the great thing after that you have to go through physics and chemistry you can get easily good marks in that mainly it's harder in mathematics subjects so you have to prepare well for mainly math and the one who are preparing for je mains as well as pre triple you should mainly focus on your je mains exam right now your first priority should be je mains because it is one of the toughest exam and if you have solved those questions of je mains then you can easily able to solve the questions of pre triple it's not a big deal for you guys if you can able to solve those questions so that's in this video if you have any doubt you can ask me in the comment section so see you in the next video